Hey, good morning everybody, it's Mike, and thanks for jumping on here with me this morning. Remember what our theme is for this week, right? Let's recap it real quickly. Um, it's about this frustration that so many of us encounter in this business, and I think much of the frustration comes from the belief that, you know, we're doing the right things. I'm just not getting the results that I expected from it. And I think you're probably right. I think most of you are doing the right things. So uh, where's the frustration come from? Really three areas, right? We talked about this Monday and Tuesday. Consistency. If you're not gonna be fanatically consistent, you're gonna have a problem in this industry. If you come in and out of motivation, you're gonna have a problem. The number one trait that all productive agents share in common is the ability to be very consistent. It is the persistency of your consistency. Uh, number two, you're doing all the right things. You just aren't scaled. You're just not doing it with enough people. Less than 3% of the population is going to move this year. You're just not touching enough people each day. You're doing the right things. Got to get the scale up or the way I like to tease you with it, right? At a zero, okay. And number three, and this is really where the focus is this week, you're doing all the right things, and some of you do have the right scale, but you don't have an effective follow-up campaign in place, and the money is all in the follow-up. Let me say it again, because it's a big truth. The money is all in the follow-up. If you don't have a robust, effective, strategic, consistent follow-up campaign, you are going to get frustrated. You shouldn't be shocked by that. You are going to be left with this feeling that I'm doing all the right things, but I'm not getting the results that I expected. What's going on? Your follow-up sucks. And you, you're not giving people a chance to consider you as their top of mind credible expert. You have the fantasy that you can touch people once, maybe twice, and that you're gonna be memorable. You're not, you're not that memorable. And I don't care what your mommy's told you, you're not that special. It's an ongoing campaign that we as professionals have to conduct with people to stay top of mind with them. Yes. Even your sphere of influence, shocking, right? So, Monday we talked about uh, a seven-step follow-up campaign. What would it look like? To get really good at this, what would an effective campaign look like? And I think there's seven parts to this. On Monday we discussed the critical importance of using a CRM in your business. Some of you are going to fight me on this. I guess for as long as you need to, but without uh, robust use of a CRM product, and I don't care which one you use, we'll give you Moxie for free, but if you want to go out and buy one on your own, I don't really care. I think they're all pretty much the same. Um, you just have to use one. And everybody you know on the planet has to be in there with campaigns, notes, contact information, everything set up. Yesterday, we touched on part number two. Within 12 hours of meeting somebody, they've got to get like a 10 to 15 second text video from you. Why? They're much more likely to remember your face than your name. The text video is so critically important. Uh, and yesterday, the third part of it, we discussed, okay, right after you send them the text video, Write a little short handwritten note, put your business card inside, drop it in the mail to them within 12 hours of having met them. Why? Well, you're going to say pretty much the same thing you said in the text video, but they're going to get that two to four days later, so it's another little touch. And it was the second chance to hand them your business card because they probably threw your first one away. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on to number four, uh, phone calls. Now, the purpose of the phone call is to set up a stacking meeting. And if you've, read, if you've read or listened to the seven levels of communication, you know exactly what we're talking about here. If you haven't read or listened to the seven levels of communication, what the hell are you waiting for? Invest in yourself. It's not a long book. It's not a novel. It's not war and peace. Come on, invest in yourself. Now, I'm not gonna explain it to you. Go read the damn book. 
<laughs> but the fourth part of the seven part strategy is the follow up phone call. But if you read seven levels, it'll show you why you're making the follow up phone call. And the fifth part that I want to share with you today is so damn important. It's critical. I want to ask you a question. In the past six weeks, how many times have you sent out via email your weekly embedded video message? 30 to 60 seconds. How many times have you done that? And if your answer is none or very few times, well, then that's where your frustration resides right there. Every week as part of your follow-up campaign with everybody. Now this is easier, it's especially easy if you're using a CRM and if you're getting all of your people in there and if they have robust contact information, then sending this out to everybody is no big deal. And in 10 minutes, Rob can show you the trick, the hack of how to do it, but you're going to make your 30 to 60 second video message at the same day and the same time every week. And then you're going to tell your CRM, send this to everybody and it's going to show up in my inbox. And it's just going to be a short little 30 second message from you every week about what I don't give a damn. It doesn't have to be about real estate. Matter of fact, it shouldn't be about real estate all the time. Maybe once every four to six weeks, it's about real estate. The rest of the time, it's about life. Well, I can't think of anything. Well, that's what people that don't want to do it say. Don't practice intellectual laziness. Come up with something. And if you have brain freeze, come see me. Between the two of us, I bet we can come up with something. What do you think? Intellectual laziness says, well, I couldn't think of anything, so now I don't have to do it. No, that's what weak and mediocre people do. You're going to, well, I can't come up with anything. Good, let's do. Make sense? So, so far we've covered five of the seven points, and we'll cover the other two tomorrow. But like just out of the five that we've done so far, who implements that with you? Of the people that you meet each week, who even uses five parts in their follow-up campaign with you? And what if they did? Would they stand out to you? And would that be true for you? If you did, would you stand out to them? And would you be going out and making it happen for yourself today?